Maybe I should do the night expeditions before whatever this final thing is. No, we're so relieved to see that you're alright. I admit, it was touch and go there for a while. I think the biggest threat I faced was my own empty stomach. Now that we're reunited, it feels like I can finally breathe. We owe you Rescue Corps folks, big time. Nonsense, we're just doing our jobs. Yes, that's quite enough pleasantries for now. Your doctor filled me in on the current situation. I'd like to have a look at Ochi right away. Hmm. So the tip of his tail has morphed completely into a leaf, and not like one that I could easily pluck from a plant. The symptoms seem to be quite similar to those displayed by the leaflings, if I'm not mistaken. And you've already tried administering your medicine. Yeah, I did. It had no effect. I see. What exactly does this medicine consist of? It's a combination of glow sap and non leafified cells from a non leafified individual. Hmm. Well, I think we've struck upon our ma main issue then. If administered as a preventative measure, the medicine may have worked. But to cure a space dog, you need space dog cells. Do you think you could make a dose of the medicine using moss's cells instead? Excellent idea. I'm on it. But moss is leafified too. Well, shucks, it didn't work. My guess is that we need cells from a dog that hasn't been leafified. Where are we going to find a dog like that on this planet? Excuse me, but while preparing to harvest cells from moss, I came across this. The Dog Thing's Den. Found the huge dog thing near the large rock at the back of the swamp. It had something in its mouth. It was that pink person who had the yummy juice. She's getting in the way. I'll just drop her somewhere. A huge dog thing. Could he be talking about... That giant dog? Exactly. We'd be fools to discount that giant dog-like creature that ran away with Nell. Oh, right. I was carried away by some sort of giant dog, wasn't I? I just bounced along on its back all over the place. We never stopped to eat, so I must have just passed out from hunger. Honestly, is that any way to treat a renowned medical professional? Can you go? Nell, can you remember the dog's tail? Did it have a leaf? Not that I can recall, though it was hard to see much under all that fluff. If we're able to collect cells from that dog, we may just be able to save Ochi. The only problem is, where's the giant dog now? Well, now that Moss is here with us, it's possible that Louie will try to find and adopt that other dog. If we follow Louie's scent, it could lead us right to the pooch we're looking for. It's worth a shot. We have a new mission. Track down Louie in the primordial thicket. Keep your eyes peeled for any signs of that giant dog. To cure Ochi's tail, we need, we'll need cells from a dog without a leaf on its tail. You need to get close to that giant dog that Louie is with. Okay. Find Louie and the giant dog. Get gold and platinum in all challenges. I did it. Mastering Dandori is a process that never ends. The effort will continue to shape you forever. Nailed it. While watching your Dan Dory skills in action, I knew I had a friend for life. We definitely gotta keep this up. Okay, right, we gotta do these night expeditions. If the medicine doesn't work on Ochi, that just means I get to do more research. Alright, how many are there? Okay, only two. You can jump to avoid the gloom that spews from its mouth. The smoky prog. Oh, the smoky prog. The thing that comes from the giant egg. If I find a giant egg, I need to crack it before that thing comes out, because that thing is a monster.
Oh, it looks great here. Everything looks happy. Yep. Thrilled. I wonder if I can look at the map and see if there's any eggs, because now that they've warned me about the smoky prog, I'm scared. Egg, 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 egg. I do not see an egg. I see something sitting up there. There are- oh crap, I just see two eggs. I need to figure out how to get to them and fast. Nope, I am not grabbing anything. I am going for these eggs as fast as I possibly can. Oh, I hatched! Skip! Can I restart? I'm going to try and take out these eggs as, as fast as humanly possible then. Alright, and then the other one over here. I think from my nightmares, I remember coming across one of these in Pikmin 1 and it being awful then too. I hope that these two are the extent of it. I need to activate this trick null over here so that the glow pikmin can go there faster. Get moving. watch a Silent Hill 2 remake. I still have to play that one. I've only played the OG first one. I actually did it on stream a couple of years ago. How's it looking? I 
need to get back to the Luminol before I get uh, wrecked. These guys are going to become hostile, like, any moment now. Oh, crap. This guy is closer than I expected him to be. Looks a lot different. You don't know if that's good or bad. Yeah, different's always a, kind of a a scary concept in uh, remakes. Okay, those guys are all cleared out. I think these might be the last of the enemies. Ooh, that was a perfect strike there. I do need to play more of the Silent Hill games. Is that everybody? All clear? Cool. No more, no more eggs. <laughs> Give me my glow sap. Amazing work per night. Okay. And then we got one more night expedition. I just remember the first Silent Hill game being a bit of a trip. And I imagine they would all be a bit of a trip. Everything that Hideo Kojima touches is is wild. I did Death Stranding as well on stream. That was uh, it was interesting. I enjoyed it. It's a very uh, unique like story. He's a very good storyteller. Just takes you a minute to realize the world he's building. Oh, Moss is back. I mean, I guess actually we knew Moss was back because they tried to make a cure from him. But now I get to see him. Or her. The combat looks better. It's a very low bar. Yeah, I gotta... I mean, I do enjoy the old tank controls of the old Resident Evil games, and the Silent Hill combat was pretty reminiscent of that. I did enjoy that to an extent. Welcome back. At last I can make the medicine. I feel like I've seen this exact conversation multiple times. Didn't finish the game in under 50 days. What a shame. Maybe if I didn't spend a whole extra day uh, going and trying to kill a smoky frog. And then I also wasted a day, just the fact that I split the Sage Leaf Trials across two different days. Hello there. Grace. She's just an ordinary gal who follows her bliss as she floats around space, though the space police have their suspicions. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to her after I rescue the other two as well. Last night expedition at the autumnal gully. Let's hope this goes well. You'll want to defeat Baldy Long Legs quickly. Try blasting it with a glow mob from directly beneath its head. There's a Baldy Long Legs here, too. Could you not? I forgot about glow mobs, in all honesty. I had to look it up when I saw it, saw it mentioned somewhere. It's. I can't do it when I'm riding Ochi, but it's basically the, char the pic glow pikmin's charge when you're riding Ochi. Or when you're not riding Ochi. Also, are there any smoky progs this time? I hope not. 
Silent Hill 2 was the best story you've ever seen from any game. Yeah, that's that's high praise. I'll take that strike. Okay, so I've got this luminal here. It's just a couple of the annoying poison slugs. Oh, I see a smoky frog egg. Ah, it hatched. Okay, I gotta go for that first. Can I even reach that from where I am? Oh my god, there's a bulb lax too. Oh man, the ball blacks is angry. There's an angry slug. Just the fact that there's a smoky prog here is awful. Oh my god, there's a spider there too. I'm probably have to kill the 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 prog before it hatches. Okay, that that does a lot more than I would expect. Everything's becoming hostile. There's a ball blex. That's another. Pro okay, that's another prog. You don't love the way that they were used. I also don't love the way that they. <laughs> I also don't like them. They are a horrifying. And if I want to have any chance of succeeding on this night, at least killing everything like I like to, uh, I have to kill these eggs as fast as possible. Right, where's the wall? Come over here, bash this as fast as I possibly can. Alright, that's the first one, but I saw a second one. I need to I need to locate that egg too. I don't know where it is. So I might have to just do a round of reconnaissance to find it. That's deep swamp, so I can't go there. Wow, 
Why did I just see something fade away over there? Where's this other egg? Oh, there it is. Man, they are hiding these things. I don't think I have enough glow Pikmin. Oh, I can't get this one without Ochi. Okay, so there's there's one up on the Louie platform and there's one there. The Louie platform I can actually get pretty quickly. Alright. I gotta go around. Oh, gee, why'd you start charging? I didn't need you to do that right there. I see a ball black working its way towards my my luminal. Okay, progs are dead. Everything is now in grave danger. If I get a lot, I can do it. Maybe so. God, the length of that scream is stupid. Alright, there's something nearby that's hostile and dangerous. Oh, I should see these guys. Not good. It's just a little guy, but... I don't know if I can get to him in time. And the spider's coming! Ah! That was very close. I don't have a whole lot of... Alright. I will... I will take your advice. I will just try and farm a crap load of glow pigmen, and then try and use the glow mobs to kill the progs when they come. Because I didn't have enough... Pikmin there at all, because I didn't spend any time farming them. to uh, 
how do I dismount Ochi? I'm sorry, I'm forgetting my controls. I'm going to command Ochi to protect the orange luminal. And hopefully this number of uh, little pellets here will help me take out the frog. Alright, he's dead. That's the spider activated. Ochi to go protect the other one in a minute. Ochi, command to the blue luminol. Well, they didn't uh, quite go onto his head like I wanted them to. Don't shake them off. Cool. I don't see anything coming for the orange luminal again, so let's head over in defense of the blue one. Now I need my glow mob to charge up again to try and take this guy out. That glow mob is more powerful than I had realized. Honestly. Amazing work tonight, as usual. Thanks. Okay. Finally done with that. Let's go to the final dungeon and hope that it's not super long. I'm just going to take a quick look, just ask how long is the final dungeon? If it's like over an hour, I'm probably going to do this another day. How long is the last Pikmin 
for dungeon. Note of warning for the final cave. No, that's not helpful. Cavern for a king is what it's called. It has it has twenty sub levels. <laughs> it's I will do an extra stream this week to finish it. <laughs> You're getting a hang of it. I, I finished it. I'm also tired, and I realize that my, my commentary in the final dungeon, which should be the most exciting part of the game, would be lackluster with how drained I'm starting to feel. <laughs> so I'll plan maybe Thursday. We'll see. Right, administer the cure at once. They have the same nose. Fox acquired his enormous wealth by creating and then subsequently selling IT startups. His motto is be the first to jump ship. His talent and reputation, this is Bo, for method acting precedes him. No matter the role, he always plays himself perfectly. Amazing! The radar isn't picking up the presence of any more leaflings. Could that mean we've cured every last leafling on this planet? Ha! Wow! We did it! Um. Great work, everyone. Tales of our success will be passed down for generations. Are you the guy who rewards for curing leaflings? Yeah, they're all cured. Well done. You're welcome. It's official. You are a full-fledged member of the crew. Who am I so glad I asked for your help? Yaw. Olimar and Moss have re... Yaw, he's training her. Everything will work out. I'm confident we'll find a way to cure Ochi. The truth about Louie is that he has a good heart deep down, beneath all those clumsy and awkward parts. I'm sure he had his own Louie-like reasons for challenging you to a Dandori battle. Do you think you could let it go and forgive him? For me. If you think I can be of any help, please don't be shy. Yeah, you could join me in, in out there and give me a second captain, you know? Okay. You know who I want to talk to. Oh, see, so you're the one who saved me and my crew, huh? As a director, I'd like to say thank you on behalf of all of us. Unfortunately, our camera didn't fare so well, but that's life. We could have made something great here. Oh, well. Ha! Huh. Wow, I guess this whole ordeal has made me, me, realize something. Ratings are important, but they aren't everything. He rescued all of my crew members. Now that's the kind of action I expect from a member of the Rescue Corps. Anyway, here's that reward I promised. Seriously, thank you. You're welcome. Our camera is broken, so we won't be capturing any new footage for a while. Still, that director of mine, he's probably cooking up some kind of a scheme to get good footage. Yeah, he definitely is. Anybody else have words? Ah, you're the one who rescued me? I'm Fox. I know what comes next. You want me to say thank you, right? By the way, how much are you charging me for that? I do hope it's not exorbitant. It's what? It's free? So this Rescue Corps is a charity group, then? I wonder. You know, Alpin and I traveled here together, but somehow he was rescued before me. I mean, we were on the same spaceship. Did I land in a bad location? Great, I've fallen behind him now. It would be remiss of me to not acknowledge or even thank you for saving my life. So thank you. That said, I came here as an actor and a master of my of my craft with the express purpose to get shipwrecked. I'm preparing for a role, you see. But I'm sure this experience, being saved, can be put to good use as well. Okay. 
If you must know, I will be embodying the lead role in a series where my character is shipwrecked on an unknown planet. I always prepare for roles through real life experiences. Though finding an unexplored planet was a challenge, I nearly gave up. But then out of nowhere, I heard about this uncharted planet and I couldn't let the opportunity slip through my fingers. So as you can see, being shipwrecked was my true intention. But my plans were cut short when my suit's force sleep mode kicked in. Shame. Thank you so much. Your work is not just satisfactory, it's outstanding. Once I study the structures you built to repair it, I'm sure I'll make a groundbreaking discovery. And I'm going to put your name in my paper. Thanks. I appreciate the credit. Okay. Uh... Nell has something to say. I'm quite sure I'll be able to cure Ochi, though I'll need cells from a dog whose tail is not a leaf. If you're able to acquire these, please bring them to me. I'll whip up a cure right away. Okay. We'll save and return to title. <laughs>